everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alan Shoemaker, and here's a look at your one minute weather. And we do have more sunshine for Monday, but in between tonight and tomorrow, it's a chilly night. We'll be down in the 30s and low 40s by morning. You might see in some rural areas a little bit of patchy frost on the top of cars, but for most of you, just a chilly start to the day. Notice though, as we go into Monday, we'll see sunshine back around 61 degrees. Tuesday, though, could be the stormy day of the week. You want to watch Tuesday. We'll show you in a second that there could be some heavy rain and storms moving through. And with that in mind, even a threat of severe weather. But we do clear out on Wednesday pretty quick, uh, pretty quickly. But you see there are some cool days ahead as well. Maybe even have to watch out for some frost later in the week and freezes, light freezes. But here we go with Sunday night into Monday. Again, a chilly night. We'll start the day chilly on Monday, but sunshine gets us back only to about 60 or so in the afternoon. We'll see plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Clouds increase tomorrow night. And I want you to look at Tuesday because showers could start to break out Tuesday morning, but the main highlight will be some heavier rain and storms that may come with the storm system moving right across the area by early afternoon on Tuesday. There is a potential for some heavy rain and even a small risk of severe storms, but that clears out by evening and then the cooler weather comes back. So there is a flood risk. This is the outlook issued from the from the Weather Prediction Center and the yellowish areas indicate uh, a slight risk, a 10 to 20 percent risk of some flooding in the Houston area and southeast Texas on Tuesday. Again, there could be a, a round of some heavy rain in the afternoon. So here is your 10 day forecast. And again, we'll be sunny tomorrow. Storms are possible Tuesday might be a severe storm, but watch out for heavy rain as well during the afternoon. Highs will be in the 60s. Then by Wednesday, the sun's back, but only in the 50s. And look at those chilly mornings. Thursday morning and Friday morning will be close to freezing in some areas. So there may be a light freeze in some spots, especially rural areas. Then next weekend, we start to warm up. Most indications are at some point, though, early next week, another strong cold front could roll in and drop temperatures again. So you want to watch out for heavy rain and storms Tuesday and maybe light freezes around in the morning on Thursday and Friday. We'll keep tracking that for you in the week ahead. This has been a look at your one minute weather.